A very good evening everyone. I am Gulabsa your mentor and I welcome you all to the session called RBI 247. In today's session we'll cover important finance related current affairs and based on the news we'll discuss certain key concepts related to them. But before getting started there are some piece of information for you guys as phase 1 of RBI grade B exam is over and we all know that RBI phase 2 grade B exam will be on June 25 so there is less time available for you all to prepare for the phase 2 of rbi grade b exam in case if you want a structured guidance as well as structured timeline to complete the entire syllabus of phase 2 then you can join our crash course specifically designed for phase 2 of rbi grade b exam the course will be taken him he will be taken by anuj sir himself right and this course will help you better leverage the time which is which the time which is available at hand to you right so you can use this time judiciously in order to prepare for your phase 2 of rbi grade b exam the entire timeline has been shared with you already on the telegram group as well as it has been uploaded on our website you can check it out there right now the course is available at 40% discount you can use the code rbi40 to avail the maximum benefit in case if you have any queries you can call us at 9999466225 and you can also write to us at info@anujindal.in in case if you want any exam related updates live video sessions and all of these features then you can download our app from google play store now moving forward to the first question on the screen which says who is the chairman of the recently constituted committee for review of customer service standards in rbi regulated entities now if you are following the news then in april 2022 april 8 2022 rbi has come out with the monetary policy statement and along with that it has also come out with the statement on on the statement of development and regulatory policies statement on development and regulatory policies whereby rbi has said that it is proposing to set up a review committee to review the customer service standards in rbi regulated entities now in order to give effect to the said proposal rbi has finally constituted the committee for review of the customer service standards and the chairman of this committee is bp kanungo Now moving forward to the news the news says that RBI has set up a six member committee so it will be a six member committee to review the customer service standards in RBI regulated entities entities such as banks payment banks small finance banks and even in that case NBFCs which are regulated by RBI are known as regulated entities so it will be a six member committee and it has been formed as a part of the statement on developmental and regulatory policies which has been released along with the monetary policy statement on april 8 for examining for examining as well as analysis uh, analysis of the prevalent customer services which has been which is being provided by the regulated entities to the customers as well as to suggest measures to improve the customer service right so it will examine as well as suggest the measures talking about the chairman will be the former deputy governor of rbi that is shri bp kanungo the member secretary will be chief general manager consumer education and protection department of rbi and the committee will have to submit its review as well as its suggestion within 3 months so what is the time frame within which it has to submit its report it is 3 months from the date of its first meeting so whenever the committee holds its first first meeting it will have to submit the report of its findings of its findings as well as suggestions findings plus suggestions within 3 months within 3 months of its of of its first meeting who all are the other members of the committee it is shri ak goyal who is the md and ceo of punjab national bank dr as ramas Rama Sastri, Dr. Amita Segal, Dr. Rajeshri N. Varhadi, and Shri Anil Kumar Sharma, who is the executive director of RBI. Now, these names are not important to be remembered, but yes, one should keep in mind so that in case the examiner tries to tweak the options by giving the names from here, 
then you are aware that yes these are the members of the committee and not the chairman per se also the the committee may, can also invite experts from the domain field even from the experts as well as rbi officials for consultations as well as their participation for deliberations if any required moving forward to the next question the question says which of the following committees has been set up by rbi on customer services the committees are talwar committee vasudev committee goiporia committee damodaran committee tarapuri committee and vegul committee so rbi in the past has also set up several committees for customer services as well as to examine the state of customer services in the regulated entities so based on this the question has been asked but before that let us see what was given in the in the statement of development statement of development and regulatory policies of april 8 right in that statement rbi has said that in that rbi has taken a number of measures to enhance the customer protection in india including the laying down of regulatory frameworks on customer service internal grievance redressal as well as the ombudsman mechanism so this term is very much important it is easy but then the term itself has been asked in exam and it has it has been confusing for the person who has been hearing it for the first time so what does ombudsman mechanism means it is basically a resolution process of it is a resolution process of resolving the complaints related to certain services rendered by bank right so it is an it is a forum it is an expeditious 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 that means it will solve your problem in a very less time as well as it is an inexpensive forum for the bank customers to get resolution of their complaints regarding the services which has been rendered by bank so what is ombudsman mechanism so basically it is a forum for the bank customers to get resolution to their complaints moving forward so what what all are the several important committees which are set up by rbi in customer services so this are talwar committee on customer services which was formed in 1975 then we have the goiporia committee on customer service in 1990 then we have the tarapuri committee on procedures and performance audit on public services set up in 2004 and then damodaran committee on customer service set up in 2010 and now in 2022 in may 2022 may 2022 rbi has also has set up another committee on customer service so moving moving back to the question right the question says which of the following committees has been a part of has been set up by arvin customer services so it is talwar committee vasudev committee is not in the answer goiporia committee damodaran committee and tarapore committee vegul committee is also not in the answer right so the correct answer to us is 1 3 4 and 5 which is option d so the correct answer to this question is option d 1 3 4 and 5 theek hai option d is the correct answer moving forward to the next question with regard to the recent committee formed by rbi for the reviewal for reviewing of customer service standards in rbi regulated entities which of the following statement is correct the statement says it will be a five member committee yahan pe ye galat hai we have already studied it is a six member committee headed by shri bp kanungo that this is absolutely correct the committee will have to submit its report within six months again this is wrong it is within three months from the date of its first meeting and the committee will suggest measures to leverage technology for enhancing the customer service efficiencies upgrading the internal grievance grievance redressal mechanism in regulated entities and strengthening the overall consumer protection framework of rbi now as the name says that it will review and suggest reforms for the customer service standards then yes the statement seems to be correct because the, it will suggest measures to leverage technology in order to solve in order to resolve the problems faced by the consumers theek hai so option 1 is incorrect option statement 1 is incorrect statement 2 is incorrect so the correct answer will be c statement 3 only now moving forward what are the terms of reference of the committee the committee will evaluate the efficiency 
the efficacy as well as adequacy and quality of the customer services that has been provided in RBI regulated entities against the existing RBI guidelines. So RBI has also set up certain guidelines for the banks to follow in order to provide customer services to the customers, right? So it now the committee will evaluate whether what is the quality of the customer services that has been provided by such regulated entities against the listed down against the listed RBI guidelines and thereby it will identify it will identify the possible gaps if any right it will also review the emerging and evolving needs of the customer service and distribution landscape right so the committee will also see what are the evolving and emerging needs what are the other needs of the customers so that it can it can inculcate such needs in the up in the upcoming guidelines so the new guidelines if rbi releases for the customer services then it also includes so it is in a comprehensive manner and it includes the emerging as well as the evolving needs of the customers right specifically in the context of the digital and electronic financial products so many customers are well facing were facing issues when the digital and electronic financial products were introduced also in the case of direct in the case of direct benefit transfer where funds were directly disbursed into the accounts of the customers the farmers or the or the ones who were who were not literate enough to understand the mechanism found it difficult because they did not have their own accounts and they they given they have given the accounts of some other person who in turn tried to try to misutilize it so it will try to identify all the problems all the needs which a customer now requires and then it will formulate the suggestions which it will provide to rbi as well apart from that the committee will also identify the best practices which are followed globally as well as in india to to provide customer service and to and to redress the grievances which has been faced by the customers in order to improve the services rendered to the small customers especially including the pensioners and the senior citizens apart from that it will also leverage it will also make use of technology to enhance the customer service efficiencies upgrade the internal grievance redressal mechanism and strengthen the overall consumer protection framework of RBI apart from that the committee will also also uh, review any other matter related to customer service and customer protection apart from that we we have been studying regulated entities so what all constitutes regulated entities regulated ent entities consist of all scheduled commercial banks regional rural banks local area banks all types of primary urban cooperative banks state central cooperative banks which are licensed under section 22 of the banking regulation act of 1949 so all those banks which has been licensed under section 22 will be a part of regulated entities apart from that all india financial institutions nbfcs payment system providers as well as all authorized persons such as the agents of money transfer service scheme will all be constituted under the regulated entities which are regulated by RBI moving forward to the last question which says recently in news which of the following nbfc which of the following nbfc has entered into a strategic partnership with indian bank to collaborate cooperate and co-lend loans to widen their respective markets and customer bases so it is of a current nature it is a current finance news which has been recently appeared in may 2022 so it says which of the following nbfcs have partnered have partnered with indian bank to collaborate to cooperate and co lend loans in order to widen their markets and their customer bases so the correct answer to this statement is a northern arc capital however if the options which you are seeing in b c d and e that is anashri alexi umb securities as well as juria financial services limited rbi has cancelled their certificate of registration owing to their unfair owing to your owing to their unfair lending practices ठीक है इन सब की रजिस्ट्रेशन आरबीआई ने कैंसिल कर दी है द करेक्ट आंसर टू द स्टेटमेंट इज ए नॉर्दर्न आर्क कैपिटल सो व्हाट वाज इन द न्यूज सो नॉर्दर्न आर्क कैपिटल व्हिच इज एन एनबीएफसी 
And what does this Northern Ark Capital do? It provides credit to underserved households and businesses. It has entered into a strategic partnership with which bank? With Indian Bank, right? The partnership is intended to enable the financial institutions to collaborate in order to widen their markets as well as their customer basis. Now, under the partnership, Indian Bank will be getting access to Northern Ark's NPOS platform. What is NPOS? Point of Sale Platform. It is a platform, it is a co-lending platform to locate any retail loans or underwriting of any credit as well as what are the scores which have been given based on artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms as well as disbursement, monitoring and reporting of loans. Okay? The platform is also fully integrated for partners and investors with real-time KYC validation and instant disbursement of loan features. The NPOS platform will also help the investors with periodic re reporting and reconciliation. So Indian Bank will be getting benefit to Northern Arc's NPOS platform, which will provide them with periodic reporting as well as reconciliation. And as, as of now, the Northern Arc's NPOS platform has enabled over 7.5 million loans through its NPOS platform. The platform will also provide the investors access to the NAC score. What is this NAC score? This NAC score is made to enable the assessment of a borrower's financial strength as well as its propensity to repay. So what is this NAC score? NAC score se nahi credit score pata chal jayega kisi customer ki, borrower ki, as well as its propensity to pay, ki wo kitna, whether the person will pay the loan or not. Theek hai? Propensity to repay the loan. So these are all the features which will be available to Indian Bank now. So this was all for today. In case if you need a free PDF of today's session, then you can download it from our Telegram group, anujindal.in. Uh, and, and if you need any help of any sort or in any topic, you can also write it down in the comment section. So this was all for today. I hope you liked the session. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Take care and all the very best. Prepare well for RBI. Grade B phase 2 part of it. Right? Bye-bye.